The Ministry of Mines and Minerals Development is pleased to announce that registration is now open for the Mining Cadastre Portal of the Republic of Zambia. Online submissions of reports is now available for registered users. Further processes, such as applications for new licenses and renewals, as well as proof of payment receipt uploads, transfers and alterations, will be phased in over the next few months. Electronic payments via credit card and mobile money will also become available at a later stage. Registering to use the Mining Cadastre Portal Holders of mineral rights, as well as holders of pending applications, are required to register in person prior to making use of the Mining Cadastre Portal for the first time. Registration forms may be downloaded from the portal website at portal.miningcadastre.gov.zm. Once completed, the forms must be taken along with supporting documents to the Mining Cadastre Unit. Note that soft copy documentation is preferable. Prospective license applicants who do not already have mineral rights or pending applications can register online to use the system. To do so, complete the online form and attach digital copies of the required documentation based on who you will be representing. Once your registration has been approved, you will receive a confirmation email from the Ministry. Signing in to the portal once you have been registered on Zambia's Mining Cadastre portal, you may sign in to use the site. Click the sign in link on the portal's homepage and then enter your email address and password. Click the sign in button. If you have secondary authentication enabled on your account, you will receive a one time PIN via email which you must enter before continuing. Once you are successfully authenticated, your license portfolio page will be displayed. If you are linked to more than one company, select the company which you will be acting on behalf of during this session. The License Portfolio landing page displays a summary of your licenses and applications, along with a navigable map with your license shapes highlighted. Click on a license code to see that license's details. Here you can see a brief summary of the license, a list of its coordinates, any upcoming or overdue payments, reports or renewals, and a history of all past activities. You can edit your email address, password, secondary authentication method, as well as your other personal details by clicking on the Edit My Profile link. Click the pencil icon on the top right corner and make your changes, then the Save icon when done. If you are a company representative, you can click Edit Company Details to view and modify the company contacts details. Submitting a report To submit a quarterly or annual report, browse to a licenses details page. You will see a list of upcoming and outstanding reports. Select a report to submit and upload in digital format. You can upload more than one document for the report submission. PDF format is preferable you will be sent a receipt of the report via email. Submitting a proof of payment. Select a due payment from the license details page, then confirm the amount due on the following page and select the submit proof of payment method. Then confirm or enter the payment reference number before uploading your documentation. Applying for a new license. We advise that before you begin your application, you pay the relevant application fee into the nominated government bank account and save a proof of payment as PDF. To start the process, click the new license link on the menu. On the application page, you will need to work through several steps. Firstly, select your license type from the pull down list. Next you will enter or upload your coordinates. All coordinates need to be in ARC 1950 on a 6 second grid. There are several ways to submit. Firstly you can manually type in your coordinates in degrees, minutes and seconds. The points will be plotted one by one on a map. 
Secondly, you can interactively select your blocks by drawing a polygon on a map. The polygon will be automatically converted into blocks. You can edit your application area further until you are satisfied. Thirdly, you can upload your coordinates from a CSV file. The required format is displayed on the screen. Browse to select the file, upload and then continue. On completing your coordinates, select the commodities for which your license will apply. Finally, you will need to upload a number of documents based on the license type you chose. After shape validation, overlaps may be clipped from your application shape. On the next page, you will confirm the application fee amount, enter your payment reference and upload your proof of payment PDF. Although you can cancel and return later to this step, the Ministry will not recognise your application until you have submitted a legitimate proof of payment. The application is now complete and your area reserved. You should be notified via email if there are any missing documents. Renewing a license. Once your existing license is due for renewal, you will be able to click through from the license details page to initiate the renewal process. On the renewal page, you will be required to confirm or update your license coordinates, as well as upload the necessary supporting documents. The renewal shape will be validated to ensure that it falls within the original license shape. You will then go on to submit your renewal fee. The renewal submission is now complete.